Hi there! The Trace comes with many profiling modes. In this screencast, let's go over the differences between them and why we would pick one over the other. Let's start with the three performance profiling options, sampling, tracing and line by line. When selecting any of these modes, the Trace collects call stack and call timings data to help us analyze how much time is needed to execute a specific method, how often it is called and what the call path is. But nothing comes for free. To collect this data, .trace has to interrupt application execution from time to time. This influences the data that can be collected and how precise it will be. With fewer interruptions, the call time values will be very detailed, as there is almost no overhead from the profiler. Sampling comes with low overhead and provides good information on how much time it takes to execute a certain method. Tracing interrupts our application more often. This makes time measurement less reliable, but it does provide us with better information on how often a method was executed. Line by line is similar to tracing in terms of accuracy, but instead of measuring method calls, it will collect data for every single statement that is executed. This does of course come with a larger overhead. As a rule of thumb, use line by line if you know exactly what function causes problems and you want to focus on how that specific function works. Use tracing if you want to see how often a function is called, or when sampling is not detailed enough. Sampling should be used in all other situations, or when looking for performance issues in an application for the first time. There's one more mode that we didn't yet cover, timeline profiling. Timeline profiling is similar to sampling, but goes beyond just measuring our own codes. It collects call stack information, thread state data, memory allocation information, garbage collections, I.O. operations, database calls, HTTP calls, and much more. By combining data from our own code with the data captured from the runtime and from event tracing for Windows, this helps us find typical application bottlenecks such as user interface freezes, I.O. bottlenecks, threads that are waiting for other threads and so on. To summarize, sampling and timeline profiling are great as they have low overheads. They are good to do an initial exploration into how an application behaves and are usually also sufficient for tracking down most performance problems. Timeline mode is similar to sampling, but comes with the added benefit of being able to look at how our code interacts with its environments. Tracing and line by line are useful for having a deeper look at just our own code and how it is performing. It's more accurate in measuring the number of calls for a specific method, but also introduces some more overhead in the profiler. Do check our web help for more information about .trace and the different profiling modes. Thank you for watching and see you next time!